Alright, what's up? Art here and welcome to a new Black Ops 3 video. In fact, welcome to a new Black Ops 3 best class setup video. And of course, as you can tell by the title, in this one we're going to take a look at the XR2 Assault Rifle. This is another burst assault rifle just like the M8A7. Anyway, so today I'm going to get right to the point. Yesterday I rambled on about things that didn't really matter all that much, but I want to say about 2 minutes or so, which I think is a little unnecessary, so I'm going to try to stop doing that. Anyway, so today's class setup is a little bit attachment heavy, just because I personally think that this gun is a little bit difficult to use. For some reason, I have like two and a half thousand kills with this weapon, so apparently, when I first started playing Black Ops 3, I really like this gun, but whenever I use it right now, it just seems really inconsistent. Also, a little fun fact about this weapon, this is of course the burst weapon, so like logically speaking, it should work well at medium to long range. However, I personally think that this gun shines at close to medium range, just because in those cases, you usually only need one or two bursts in order to kill an opponent. Now, the reason I went for so many attachments is basically just to make sure this gun continues to shine at both close and medium range, but also becomes a bit more reliable at long range, because at the end of the day, this is a burst weapon, so it should work pretty well at long range as well. Anyway, so that being said, for starters, we've got the ELO sight, which is easily my favorite sight in Black Ops 3 at the moment. It's actually kind of similar to the red dot sight, it's just a little less cluttered, making it a little bit easier for you to stay on target, or at least, that's what I've noticed. Now, of course, if there's a different side that you prefer over the ELO side, then definitely go with that one. But of course, if you want to use this gun at long range, then the side is definitely pretty useful. Next up, we have the long barrel. Now, the long barrel in Black Ops 3 is actually really good. It's a lot better than the one in Black Ops 2, or at least that's what I've noticed so far. But basically, the long barrel in Black Ops 3 is going to double your range, meaning that it becomes a lot more likely for you to only need one or two bursts in order to kill an opponent, which is definitely pretty good. And this also continues at long range, which certainly makes this gun a lot more reliable at long range as well. Next up, we have the quick draw grip, which pretty much makes this gun a lot more deadly at close range. Of course, this is a burst weapon, so accuracy is key. And if you basically snap on target before your opponent does, then you're going to win that gunfight. However, keep one thing in mind. Simply because this is a burst weapon, obviously it's not too great at close range, especially not when you're up against a fully automatic weapon. So before you pull the trigger, make sure that you're actually on target. Normally speaking, you can fire about one or two bursts before someone else actually manages to drop you. So make those bursts count. Anyway, next up we have the rapid fire attachment. Now, I'm pretty sure that this is the first Call of Duty in which you're able to put rapid fire on assault rifles, shotguns, sniper rifles, LMGs, you name it. Before this, it was only available on the SMG, so that's actually a pretty good thing. But when it comes down to the XR2, basically what rapid fire does, it decreases the amount of time between bursts. Now, this is once again going to make this gun a little bit better at close range, not necessarily at long range. Because, of course, it does increase your recoil by a little bit. It's not too bad. I personally don't think it's too bad. It's definitely manageable. But basically, when you're up against someone at long range, make sure that you manage your burst. And then you should be good to go. And then finally, we once again have the stock. Now, this is an attachment that I've been using way too often. I know. I should probably try to stop using this thing as often as I do. But basically, the stock allows you to move a little bit faster whilst you're aiming down the sights. Now, me personally, my accuracy isn't too great. So when it comes down to winning long range gunfights... It's easy for me to basically stay on target by straving to the left and the right, than it is for me to stay on target by aiming precisely. That's just something that I need to work on. In due time, I won't need the stock attachment anymore, but for now, this is going to help me out with that. And of course, it also makes you a harder target to hit at close range, just because you're not standing still. So there's that as well. And then finally, we only have two perks. For starters, Hard White, which is easily my favorite perk in this game at the moment. It first off makes you immune to counter UAVs, power cores, EMP grenades, and smoke screens. It also makes sure you do not trigger trip mines, shock charges, and some four alarms. And then on top of that, it reduces the effects of tracker, and it completely annihilates the effects of six cents. So this perk is definitely pretty good. I wouldn't be surprised if they were going to nerf this perk in the near future, just because at the moment, it's kind of essential if I say to myself. And then finally for perk three, we have Blast Suppressor. Now Blast Suppressor is another perk that I pretty much always use. It basically makes sure you do not show up on the enemies their minimap when you use the thrusters, and it also suppresses the sound of your thrusters, making it harder for your opponents to hear you. And then finally for my streaks, in this case I was using the UAV, the care package, and the count UAV. A pretty simple setup if I say to myself, and you only have to get like 5 or 6 kills in order to get all of these. Of course you're going to get some UAV assists, you're going to get some count UAV assists. So basically racking up a lot of score streaks isn't too difficult. And with a bit of luck you'll get something like the Raps or the Rave or even so much a Hellstorm out of your care package. Which is always a good thing. Anyway, if you've got a pretty solid XR2 setup, then definitely be sure to share that one in the comments for others to try out. If you want to, you can also follow me on Twitter or Facebook or Instagram. You can find all those links in the description. And then as always, thank you all so much for watching. Thank you for the continued support. 
and I will catch you in the next one. Take it easy.